What's going on everyone? Chris with the Line of Life, back for another video. Y'all doing okay? I've had a couple of people ask, I wanted to do an update on this uh, Lawn Star soil aerator. Um, I'm supposed to do my second application of it. And uh, so I wanted to do a quick update and kind of give you my review of it and uh, let you know my thoughts. Uh, first off, uh, before we do that, let me give you a quick shout out. Let me give a quick shout out to Sonny Bermuda. If you've never seen his uh, YouTube channel, check it out. Uh, we did a little sticker swap, although he did, he sent me a lot more swag than I sent him. All I have is just a couple of small stickers. Um, but he sent me coasters, several types of stickers. So, Sonny Bermuda, he has a, a channel. He's based in Alabama as well, I believe. Um, he has this uh, real mower. He does a lot of real mower videos. And he has a really good channel. So uh, check out Sunny Bermuda. All right, so Lawn Star Soil Aerator. So basically you have this, or you can just do your um, traditional aeration where you come in the, with the machine and get the plugs. Um, basically from what I read and understand, um, the benefits of your traditional aeration with the plugs is you get an immediate impact. Um, you immediately get oxygen and uh, help the nutrients get in the soil better. Um, when you do a liquid aeration, this is more for a long-term um, impact uh, of soil compaction and stuff like that. So I'm about to put my second application of this down. I put this down about maybe five, six weeks ago, something like that. So I'm going to put my second app down now. I want to go show you um, kind of where I'm at with um, the screwdriver test and we'll see how the compaction has been uh, how much it's improved and just let you know my thoughts on it okay so just get you a screwdriver any screwdriver will work this one is about six inches long six inches is plenty long enough i've been told so i did this about five six weeks ago and let's see what you do is push down and it, it takes a little bit of uh, force but not much it's a whole lot better than it was before. That right there is not as easy though. Let's see right here. So it goes about four inches down without me hardly having to push, but once it gets to you know five and six, it's a little bit tougher. This area, about five, six weeks ago, I was only getting about two inches, two and a half, three inches down, and it was stopping due to compaction and just you know whatever's in the soil so it is getting better now let's go check an area over on the front yard like this i got a couple areas that are slower to grow in every year so i really have put it down here let's see how this does <laughs> see it's still a lot harder in some of the spots over here it doesn't go near as far. So, try up here in this area. Same. So, yeah. See, it's no coincidence that the grass is not growing near as thick and as fast over here. And the soil is a lot harder and compacted. There's a lot to do with that. Now, it could be just rocks and debris under there. Um, or the soil can just be really compacted and hard So like I said the screwdriver is right here six inches um, Over on the side yard um, where the grass is a lot thicker um, I was only getting about maybe two three inches before five six weeks ago I'm getting about five inches now down before four and a half five before it really starts getting hard to push and then over on the front yard It's the same except for the areas where um, the grass is not as thick still I'm still only getting about two inches um, deep before you know it stops. So I'm really gonna have to keep uh, putting this down and we'll see if it continues to help. So I would say overall, this uh, Lawn Star soil aerator has definitely helped. What the heck is going on here? Has definitely helped. Um, so I'm gonna keep putting it down. Um, so we're supposed to do the second application now. Just a quick reminder um, for pump sprayers, um, you do one ounce per gallon of water um, and then you spread it evenly across a thousand square feet. Um, then you're gonna water it in for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then 
avoid trying to do it in the afternoon, try to do it before 10 a.m. Um, is what we're doing now, or after 5 p.m. Um, to decrease the chance of evaporation. So try to avoid doing it in the afternoon when it's really hot. Um, so let's put the second application down. something out in the yard without some neighbor coming up and wanting to have an hour-long conversation. I mean, I love them and everything, but come on now. That's it, guys. Just remember that the two biggest differences between, are two of the biggest differences between the manual aeration with the machine and the soil aeration, the liquid, is the manual that just gets the plugs is, is more for an immediate impact. Um, that's the positive. The downside is, is having to go get that machine and it's kind of heavy and just have to deal with it unless you have one. This, you buy it and this will last me probably all season. And it's for a long term benefit of your soil um, for the compaction and helping nutrients and oxygen and moisture and everything get down in your soil. So that's two of the biggest differences. So I appreciate you watching. This was Chris with The Lawn and Life. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down if you like or dislike the video. I appreciate you watching, guys. Um, hey, hey. See that guy on the bike? He was from earlier in the video. Man, the son of a gun came back again with more questions. It's kind of the downside of taking care of your yard. Everybody's got to have questions hmm. anyway subscribe I don't don't subscribe I don't really care I just enjoy making the videos and working in the lawn anyway I appreciate you watching guys y'all stay safe God bless have a great day so let's go ahead and add his sticker to the fridge the garage fridge let's find a good spot a nice prominent spot for Sonny I'll link his page, uh, his YouTube page, in the, de uh, the description below. Does anybody else do this? I know everybody has a spot. Kind of put mine on the fridge. From different stickers and stuff. We got the Lawn Rebel. I got his Pisser Offer sticker. And just other pages and stuff that I like. And just different brands. Malorganite. 